My name is Will Pope, and I want to talk for a minute about a painting uh, that I did earlier this year, uh, spring of 2007, for a show at Visions West Galleries in Livingston, Montana. And the, the painting that I want to talk about is called The Crossing, uh, which is a reproduction or an interpretation of a painting uh, called George Washington Crossing the Delaware by a guy called Emanuel Lutz, which he painted uh, in 1851, which was about 75 years uh, after the, the moment of the, the painting that he captured, which was uh, Christmas night of 1776, uh, George Washington crossing the Delaware into, into war. And I had, I have never uh, painted after another painter. I've never, I've, although I've been to, for instance, all the museums in Europe, I've never gone over and, and painted uh, after the masters. You know, a lot of people go to the Louvre and paint for days or weeks or years or whatever. And I never did that. That uh, was not my way of learning. But I, you know, had always thought that if I did want to to paint after another painter, if I wanted to do one painting, that it would be this one, a very American painting, and an amazing moment in our history and, and uh, the history of the world. And, uh, you know, that Christmas night in 1776 was an absolutely pivotal, uh, you know, ride across that river that changed the course of history. And, you know, I cannot imagine there are a few moments in, in the history of the world that would uh, be quite so loaded um, with anticipation and uh, with so much uh, outcome. So, you know, I earlier this year, I guess it was uh, probably March or April when I painted this painting, and I had had the flu, and that uh, turned into pneumonia, and I got really sick. And so, I mean, really, really sick. And after about three weeks of being down, I thought to myself, you know, is there any painting that you would really like to make, just in case, you know, um, this doesn't, you know, come out right? Is there anything that you want to do? So I thought about it for a while, and I said, I'm going to paint George Washington Cross in the Delaware. So I did. And, you know, it was an amazing painting to watch the original uh, to paint the, the, the original is about 12 feet by 21 um, the one I did is about four by eight so still a, a large painting very epic size and very much the same size as me for instance George Washington is you know about my size in this painting and so um, you know I thought a lot about the material that I used I painted this painting in oil and <coughs> I I use a lot of drawing elements usually, and I paint on, on plaster, oil on plaster usually, or a lot of the time. But in this case, because of the subject matter of George Washington, uh, I really felt compelled to use um, the, the best, the best, uh, well I decided to paint it in oil because I wanted to match the subject matter to the medium and paint it in the best way that I could. I wanted to sort of honor him in that way. It was very, I, there was some trepidation, I have to admit, in addressing the subject matter of George Washington. Um, I'd never done such a thing. I'd never painted a famous figure. But it was a little daunting, and I, you know, so anyway, I did that. I was very respectful in my address of the painting. And, uh, you know, there were a lot of things that went through my mind. One is that George Washington grew up on Pope's Creek, uh, Virginia, and uh, he, you know, that family, that Pope family, that his parents, uh, Lawrence and Mary, Larry and Mary, bought from the Popes, uh, very well could have been my relatives. Now, and it, that doesn't really, didn't really play into the decision, but it is an, inc an interesting coincidence as part of, you know, what, you know, in, in painting this and what the thoughts that are going through my mind while I'm painting, you know, my relationship to it. And what I would further say is that, you know, this, this pivotal moment that was captured 
originally and also by me, um, you know, was that, that one is of epic proportion in historically for Americans and world history. But I, I, it also began to be a metaphor for um, our own personal pivotal moments in life. And obviously there are a number of them, you know, moments that we'll think back when we're older and say that was, that was, was a pivotal, absolutely uh, identifiable moment in my history where everything changed, um, hopefully for the better, but for better or for worse, that changed everything. What, my one decision, my one, my taking this road as opposed to that road or having enough courage to do that changed the course of my life. And so, you know, I, that sort of, you know, uh, line of thought continued, you know, through the painting of, this, uh, of the painting, you know, and I considered it a lot. And, you know, even to the extent that, you know, maybe I'll look back, you know, when I'm older and say, the painting of that painting was a pivotal moment for me as a painter or in my life history. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. Um, but, I, you know, something, it's a very special painting to me and stands out in my memory as something that uh, is a highlight, you know, of not only the year, but this sort of period in, in my history of painting. And, uh, you know, very thought provoking. And as an American and as a, as a painter, but yeah, I would say as, a, as, as an American, a modern American, and this is a modern painting. I didn't uh, try to reproduce the painting as Emmanuel Loitz painted it. I painted it in my own style, and uh, you'll notice that there are four uh, squares of color that are topically um, applied to the painting, bringing it into a, a modern or postmodern um, sort of thought platform. So it is, it's not a reproduction um, per se. It, it, it's um, but it borrows heavily from, from this original. So it's, it's both modern and historical, and you know, uh, definitely uh, considered the use of those uh, modern elements you know, at, the, at the end of the painting, and whether or not I wanted to do that. And it was, a, it was definitely a choice and, and definitely something that I decided to use to identify the painting as mine. And, you know, as, as a part of my uh, lineage of paintings. So, um, yeah, very, um, very special painting and, and something that I, I go back to. And it makes me think a lot about whether I would do that again. Either paint from another uh, master or, or to paint a historical figure again, which I think I will, uh, you know. But it would, it would have to be a very uh, unique person uh, for me to do that. It's a, it's a real choice to do it and something that you kind of have to gear up for. So, so that's uh, The Crossing, uh, Spring 2007.